Hey you guys, welcome back to Beamer Light. I am back you guys with another word and with Bo. I feel like I haven't shown him in such a long time. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> I haven't shown him in quite a while. Um, hopefully you guys can st still hear me, but he's getting so big. The last time I weighed him, he was 12 pounds, but he's definitely at least 14, 15 pounds. Now he's so heavy, but Bo, <laughs> So many people have asked me to make him a Instagram because of this cute face. <laughs> so I think I'm going to make him an Instagram and that way you guys can go ahead and follow him. He is a be Beamer Light mascot, you guys. He He's such a cutie. He's such a good dog. But um, I wanted to come on here and just share with you guys... Um, just what the Lord was placing in my spirit this morning. And so let me just open up the window a bit for him. So just what the Lord placed in my spirit this morning about for those of you guys um, that are, I mean, this is for all of us, but for many of you guys that are, you know, in a transition season, this is your transition season. And maybe you've been hearing the Lord talk to you so much about moving and relocating um, take it from someone who got in her car and drove, I don't even remember how many miles, it might have been over 2,000 miles, um, to get to, from Texas to California. Um, so when God calls you to step into a place, um, again, out of obedience, we can do that. But also, it's not about us. We have to remember, and I have to constantly remind myself too, to take myself out of the equation and understand that this is the Lord's will and the Lord's plans for my life. And so, yes, does, you know, do you need provision to get to a place? Absolutely. Um, but first and foremost, it is to come into agreement with the word that the Lord has spoken over you and what God has said over your life. And so, um, so as I was driving, I just, God wants to bless so many of his children, but there's this, this lack and a fear, right? Not even lack of fear, should I say. There's this lack of faith. And um, there's this fear. There's this fear that what the, of the what ifs, what's gonna happen when I go? What's gonna, what's gonna take place? Like, how are these things gonna come about? So I had all these questions before I moved. And maybe this may not be a physical relocation to you. Maybe this is, obviously this is spiritual. This is all through God, but we must move our faith in action too. If we go to Hebrews 11, 1, faith is uh, the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not yet seen. And so we can understand that if God says it and God's calling us and God's declaring it and God is speaking it, that we must come into alignment with what God is saying. And so again, I had all the questions for my physical move, right? It was in the spirit first that I received this word. And it was in my faith that I packed up all my things and I didn't move right away. It wasn't an overnight thing. God gave me the word. I prayed over the word. I stood on the word. And then he started to tell me to move things around like in my faith. So I, in faith, in the physical, in the natural, started to pack. I started to donate. I started to give things away because I was moving in faith. I said, okay, I may not see how this is going to come about, but I know that God's allowing this to happen. He's the one that spoke it. For six months, I had my belongings in a corner of my, my parents' condo waiting to move. You guys, I had no car. I was believing for a car. So I'm here to I'm here today to share with you guys that God works miracles through us. So I I'm today by the grace of God, I have transportation and I was able to get to the next place. And even then there were steps that God wanted me to take. He wanted me to make sure I was, you know, in forgiveness with people that I held grudges towards. He wanted to make sure my heart was clean. God can use a clean heart. Just like in Psalm, David would say, God, create a clean heart in me, you know? And so we have to check in with God, check in with ourselves before God. God, what is it that I need to give unto you so that I can move forward? I don't want to be held in, in black or bondage because of my own doing. See, God is perfect in all that he does. And so God wants to use us, but he wants to use a clean vessel. 
And I'm not saying he can't use something that's broken. God takes broken things and makes them into beautiful things. But we have to be diligent and do our part. This is spiritual maturity. So I'm here today to share with you guys that if God's been calling you to that new place, just know he's already set the tone in that new place. He already knows the people you're going to meet. He already knows the place you're going to go to. God's already put your name in, in conversations that you have no idea about and in the mouths of people you have no idea about. And so the best part about going into a new place is that God is with you no matter what right? We can go to a place that no single, like me, I didn't know a single person come out, coming, coming out to this new place, but I trusted God to bring me the right people, which he has been. So it's all faith, you guys. It's obedience and faith in the Lord. So with God, he, he, he presents one door and then he opens that next door and that next door as you're walking in alignment to his will. Don't focus so much on what you don't have. This is a word for somebody. Do not focus on what you don't have. You may not have a full bank account. You're not going to have a full bank account. For some people, they might. Some people, they won't. It's a trusting thing with God. Um, when I came out here, God told me, I don't want you working a nine to five. I want you to entirely focus on me. I want your attention to be on me. This is my ministry. And the more I focus on God, the more he breathes life into this ministry. But if I start to focus on the things God didn't tell me to do, that's when there's there's a delay. Amen. So I want to share with you guys, you don't need what you think you need to get to that next place. God says he supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory, meaning we don't lack anything. So you probably already have what you need to start what he told you to start. Um, and so, again... Like I said, this may not just be a physical move, right? But for many people, this is a physical move. God is calling so many people to get up and to walk in faith. Your faith makes you well. And imagine if your faith makes you well, it's going to make the people around you well. They're going to look at you and say, whoa, I want her faith. I want his faith. I want to walk in alignment to God. I see God in her life. I want God in my life. And that is a testimony. We are walking testimonies. So... As much as I get a lot of emails and messages of people saying how much Beamer Light is an encouragement and inspiration in their faith, it's all to the glory of God. Yes, I get excited when I get emails and messages of people just speaking so highly about Beamer Light, but it is a ministry of God. It's God breathed. And so because God is here, God wants to also use this ministry for others and it's the same way with your ministries and what God is calling you guys to do whether it's to create worship music whether it's to write books whether it's to speak whether it's to teach whatever that looks like let God work in you let God do that work in you and bring it to completion we got to get ourselves out of the equation out of the mix and say God today I pick up my cross and today I follow you I don't know what that looks like. Like for me, I don't know what my days look like, but I'm trusting the Lord. And I know this is just a season for some of us. After a specific time, God's going to be like, hey, boom, this is what this is what it's going to look like. But some of us are in a trusting season, season, and that is the best place to be in. It is to be so close to God. It's one on one with the Lord. These days I wake up with so much joy because I know God hasn't left my side. God hasn't left your side. God is with you to the end. And sometimes you got to go through some valleys and sometimes you have to face some giants and sometimes you have to, you know, stand before your mountain just to know how strong you are in God. If it weren't for the giants that I face, if it weren't the, for the opposition that I've faced recently, I wouldn't know how strong I am in God. God doesn't give you more than what you can. He doesn't give you more than what you can handle. God gives you you know, he's already supplied you with what you need. And that is with his strength. That is with his peace. That is with his wisdom. We can ask for these things too. There's times where I'm like, Lord, I need your wisdom to get through this. And boom, he does it. And I'm like, okay, I'm. it's just so thankful that we have a God we can ask things for. And he actually provides it in a better way. So I want to share this with you guys today to trust the Lord. God's sending you out somewhere you know, I go back to the Bible, I go back to his word, and I go back to how many times did Jesus go from cities to cities? You know, he was moving around. He was doing the purpose of God, of his father. He was moving around, taking the disciples with him 
to teach them too. So it's such a beautiful illustration towards our life that even if God sends you to that new state, that new city, that new country, whatever that looks like, maybe it's a new town over, maybe it's a new zip code over, maybe it's a new house over. It doesn't have to be a new place, this entire thing. It's so spiritual. But God's with you, leading you. He's already there with you. And so all he waits for us to do is to trust him. Trust him in that new place. Trust him with strength. Trust him that he says he's going to do what he says he's going to do. And you'll start to see God for yourself in goodness, in meekness, in the way he is. And so today I just pray, I pray that we put on the fruits of his spirit. That's what we need to keep going. We need the fruit. We can know scriptures. We can know how to pray. We can know how to talk and how to teach. But it is to put on the fruits of the Holy Spirit. It is to walk in love. It is to be like God in his image. And because of that, that transforms us. That that changes us from the inside out. We want to look like his light. We want to be his light. Not just look. We want to we want to reflect who he is. That is the difference, the exception that makes us set apart. And so as we cling on to God, we're going to continue to see God's goodness. So um before I end this video, I did want to share, and I felt led to share this earlier today. I wasn't sure how to do it. I wasn't sure, but I feel like just putting it in this video. Um, I'm coming back with my coaching, and some of you guys are probably like, what the heck is coaching? What the heck is purpose coaching? People ask me all the time, and God allowed me to step into this space to help people get into alignment with what he spoke over their life. Sometimes it's hard. Sometimes we have a lot of opinions and advice from all over coming in, right? The noise is around us. But God allowed me to step into these shoes of sharing my story and using my story to help others, um, specifically with singles, especially women uh, with my sisters in Christ and helping you guys get to that next place. And I give it all to God because, I mean, you guys saw just not too long ago, I was in this weird transition, but it was still purposed by God. So I want to share that, that we're doing, what I'm doing is, is all for the glory of God. And um, if you're interested in that, again, I leave everything down below for you guys. Um, whether you want, contact me, email me. My email is beamerlight at gmail.com. And um I'm making my sessions a little, a lot more simple, um, just for this season. So yeah, I want to share this with you guys. I love you guys so much. Again, don't be afraid to step out in faith. This was yesterday's word as well. And God's coming back with this. There's something God wants to do in your life for your family, for the people around you that maybe don't have a relationship with God. Maybe don't, maybe they're atheists. Maybe they are far from the truth. But God will use you as a testimony for those people to believe. And if that means he has to send you out somewhere, that's what he's going to do. So I love you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you for your encouraging words and your support and your seats. I pray over every single person. Um, I wish I can get to every single person. But collectively, I love you guys. And I will talk to you guys soon. God bless you.